mate, this sucks. This is not a good experience. It's okay. It's okay. It's me. I know you didn't mean to hurt me. You shouldn't have done that! Hey, guys. So, uh... Resident Evil 7. Um, as if this game wasn't scary enough, some crazy f has uh, made a VR mod for it. And uh, I'm going to show you how to install it uh, and also how to install full motion tracking so you can use your hands in game and be fully immersed. I am going to warn you though, uh, you're, you're going to poop your pants a good few times <laughs> playing this game. <laughs> oh my god. Where? Where am I? What the hell? Rise and shine, sleepyhead. It's time for supper. Who, who are all you people? Where's Mia? <laughs> Eat it. It's good. Dumb some bitch wasn't no good if it hit him. Hit boy's got to eat. He got to have his supper. Come here, boy. Let's do this. Uh, yeah. Not for the faint-hearted. <laughs> So there are going to be two files that we need to download and extract. It's a very simple process and I'm going to take you through it right now. Check out the video description and click on the link one and look for RE7, which is our download. We're going to download that file. Then we're going to go to the second link in the description and we're going to click on code and download zip, which is the second file which we need. Now, once we've done this, we're going to go over to our game in Steam and we're going to right click it and click properties. And inside properties, we're going to look for local files and that'll open up the folder where we can paste our first downloaded file. While we're in game properties, make sure to uncheck these two options. Now, what we need to do is go over to the file that we've just copied, open it up and copy all of the inside files directly into our install directory. You can do it this way or you can extract it directly using WinZip or using Win7. And we're going to do the exact same thing with the second file which you downloaded from the second link. Just copy it over and extract the files directly into the install folder. Now what you need to do is turn on your VR headset. So I'm using the Oculus Quest 2. I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to connect via AirLink. And once I've done that, I'm going to open Steam VR so that Steam VR is connected to my Oculus. And once it's connected, I'm going to launch the game. And it's as simple as that, guys. I am now playing Resident Evil 7 in full VR with hand tracking. Yeah. 
Wait! Wait! So uh, that's pretty much how it's done guys, uh, I don't know if I'd recommend it, uh, especially not for the faint hearted. Uh, I've shit my pants several times uh, and I've only played it for about half an hour. I do hope this is useful to some of you or all of you and uh, yeah, I mean if you, if you end up doing this and it works for you, drop a comment, uh, consider subscribing, uh, it really helps the channel out. Uh, I'll see you later guys. I'm gonna go look at some pictures of kittens. <sighs>